what's up guys welcome back to the channel man welcome back to the channel today's video man i'm just going to talk about um me wrapping my car i know i talked about it uh in a previous video but i've been getting a lot of questions people asking me uh am i wrapping my car for the summer what's next as far as my car and blah 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 so i'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all what i'm gonna do as far as wrapping my car i want to get y'all opinion tell me what y'all think y'all already know i'm not gonna do too much i know some youtubers you know they wrap their whole car and that's cool i i, I like wraps i like how they look and um you know everything for everybody but i want to show y'all i'm gonna kind of point out exactly what i'm gonna wrap on my car i want y'all to leave your comments let me know what y'all think and if you're new to the channel man hit the like button subscribe to the channel man hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a video but i'm gonna show y'all man exactly what i'm thinking about wrapping on my car and y'all let me know what y'all think so i'm thinking what i want to do is wrap this part of my hood probably in like a gloss black i'm definitely gonna wrap the roof of my car that gloss black i'm also thinking about wrapping the trunk in gloss black also if the gloss black doesn't look right i'll go with the matte black uh instead of the gloss black on the on the same areas and also or if i don't do this part of the hood let's do this part right here and uh like i say do the roof maybe matte black if not gloss black so leave your comments man let me know which one gloss black matte black which one you think will look better and also far as the wheels if i don't change the wheels go ahead and get these wheels powder coated gloss black because that's what i did with my rt before i've changed the wheels on that car so go ahead and get these wheels gloss black but i think that'll look slick as well but leave your comments guys let me know what y'all think and i'm also going to black these out definitely got to get that done not sure if i want to use some tint to black that out or completely change them because i know they got some different ones that you can put in here that already come tinted and the whole light actually is lit up instead of just a partial part like on these but i tell you what i do like you know and i can tell i'm starting to grow as an individual because a lot of this stuff that i'm thinking about doing <laughs> i normally wouldn't do and i really like when they had the lights in here and in the grill i think that looked pretty cool man especially at night you know what i'm saying but i, I i'm not sure on that stuff yet you know what i mean i'm really not sure on that yet but i'm definitely going to do the headlights that's there's no question about that just because i like i told you guys i don't really want to rice my car out you know have all this crazy stuff but i understand i'm doing youtube so i gotta kind of get out of that box i'm in yeah, it's just the why the way i grew up man you know say i grew up in southeast dc and we would just we just wasn't with all that kind of stuff but man I'm, like i said i'm a grown man now so I, you know my outlook on a lot of things are different now so just bear with me like i say i'm trying to you know spice up the channel a little bit and spice my car up a little bit um but don't get me wrong i love the way it look like this i know it's plain but i like it because that's just kind of me i ain't really like the type of person that really like to stand out and just kind of be real flamboyant that's just not me but i understand this youtube world you got to be different and you got to do something to kind of stand out so i'm with changing up my car a little bit i got no problem with that so leave your comments man let me know what y'all think and also i was thinking about maybe gloss black right here right here and also maybe right here to kind of give it you know i think that'll be a little different and when i put the wheels on here it's definitely going to just be for like car shows and stuff like that i'm definitely won't be racing with no wheels on my car so i'm thinking about going with 24s let me know what y'all think if you think 24 is gonna be too big because i know a couple of folks that got 24s on their wide bodies and i, I like the way it look y'all know i'm not a real big fan of putting wheels on these cars but if you do it right and you pick the right wheels i don't see an issue with it unless you're going to be racing if you're going to be racing i don't think you need to put no wheels on this car you know what i'm saying you definitely should go with the factory wheels but to change it up a little bit i'm thinking about putting some 24s on it and have a part of the rims match the color of my car so y'all let me know what you think man i am gonna make this video too long but that's just some things i'm thinking about doing also putting the gloss black right here 
just to give it a little give it you know just so it can stand out a little bit you know i really don't want to cover up the paint completely on this car because i just love the way this octane red looks so that's pretty much what i'm thinking about doing fast wrapping the car i just want to go ahead and answer that question because a lot of people been hitting me up on Instagram and emailing me, asking me, hey man, you gonna wrap your car? What's your next plans on your car? So that's pretty much what I'm thinking about doing next. So leave your comments, man. Let me know what y'all think. Should I wrap the whole car or should I do what I'm thinking about doing? Because I think it'll look better to just kind of partially wrap the car. Because I, like I said, I, I really, really, really like the way this paint looks on this car. This octane red is awesome, man. I really like it. I really, really like it. But leave your comments, guys. I really want y'all input on this. Every video ain't gonna be me, you know, actually doing anything or stuff like that. Sometimes I just wanna communicate with y'all, give me some ideas, let me know what y'all think. Um, you know, it's getting crazy now with these cars, even on YouTube in general, just in real life. All that racing and taking over the highways. And I mean, if you're on a track racing, that's that's great. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. But all these, these videos of, you know, doing crazy burnouts in the middle of the highway and all this highway takeovers and all that stuff man that stuff they cracking down tremendously on that stuff so it's it's hard it's really difficult now to kind of come up with content so every video is not going to be somebody me doing a burnout or racing and i don't really do that stuff anyway i mean i got a video that i just previously posted if you haven't watched it of me doing a burnout um but that's one of those things that I would do every now and then, and I do it in a safe environment, nowhere near traffic, no, nobody can be injured, it's completely off-road, you know what I'm saying? So that's the only way I'll do something like that. Um, because it's just too dangerous to be out here being reckless with these cars, bro. It's just not worth, you know, people getting their cars confiscated, people going getting arrested. It's not worth all that, man. So y'all young guys that's out here, you want these cars, you see these folks on YouTube doing that. And that's people still doing it. Some people just don't care. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, I recommend that you don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it for no views. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if, how much money they're going to pay me to do a burnout on a main road. I'm not doing it for safety reasons. You know, some stuff you just can't do for money all the time. Money can't be the reason why you just do anything. You got to have some kind of standards and stand for something, bro. So y'all young guys, man, just make sure you're being responsible with these cars because you can take somebody's life or you can lose your life if you're not responsible. So again, man, leave your comments, any suggestions you might have, man. I'm open to suggestions, man. We Hemi Muscle family, so what y'all think matters as well. You know, I wasn't really a big fan of the whole rapping the car thing, um, but I'm starting to slowly but surely get into it because I think it's needed, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're doing YouTube. But just to change things up a little bit, um, and I think just partially wrapping this car makes more sense than completely covering up the the nice paint on this joint so leave your comments man let me know what y'all think like this video subscribe i appreciate y'all tuning in man and also go to hemimusclefamily.com get to merch like i said i'm working on some new designs and stuff man i kind of just put that together um i'm wearing one of the t-shirts right now y'all ain't know if you didn't notice it I'm wearing one of the t-shirts right now and i'm also thinking about getting the uh changing my lights as well maybe getting a flow series i'm just a little skeptical on the light thing because i be hearing people and i be seeing a lot of people having problems with them lights and i ain't got time to be having no issues with my lights. so i made this by the ones that's already put together well because i don't really want nobody taking my lights and, and putting them in the oven and opening them up and all that so i may just go ahead and purchase the ones that's already done that way if something go wrong with it i can just take it off and put my original lights right back on so I think I'm gonna go that route. Leave your comments about that. If you already, if you got the lighting trends and you got the flow series, man, let me know. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you had any problems. You know what I'm saying? Things I should look out for. Um, because I'm definitely thinking about doing it. I think that'll look pretty slick. So that's kind of like the future plans or the exterior of the car. A lot of people have been asking me that. So instead of me just waiting, just go ahead and let y'all know what I'm gonna do. And just in case somebody else come out with it, they won't think I'm copying. Y'all see the video right now. I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. So when I do it, if somebody else do it, I don't want nobody saying, oh, you copying this person, this, that, and the third. I don't want to hear that nonsense, man. I'm telling y'all right now what I'm gonna do. So like again, man, Leave your comments. It don't matter anyway. I don't really care, man. We all see stuff we like, and that's how we get ideas, and that's just how the world works. So 
That's just other people make it seem like you copying somebody. Nobody's copying. We all get ideas from each other. That's just how life works. That's just the way it goes. But um, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. I ain't gonna make this video too long. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm also due for oil change real quick too. I think I'm at, uh, see, I'm at 17%. Let me know when y'all change y'all oil. I usually let the car tell me when it say oil change needed. That's usually when I change my oil. But in this car, I'm still kind of learning this car. Um, I know in my RT, when it came up and said oil change needed, that's when I went and took it and got the oil change. And never had any problems with my engine. But with this car, I don't know yet. So I usually, like I said, this will only be my second oil change anyway. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it in now. But I was gonna wait until it got to like 10%, but I ain't gonna do that because I be getting on this joint and I don't want, <laughs> last thing I want is this joint don't have any oil in it. That wouldn't be good. So I'm already rambling too much, man. Leave your comments about the rap. I appreciate y'all tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.